Hello. Welcome to Millstuff channel. Today we gonna talk about the Lockheed State Route 71, Blackbird. The Lockheed State Route 71, Blackbird, is a long-range, high-altitude, Mach 3 Plus strategic reconnaissance aircraft developed and manufactured by the American aerospace company Lockheed Corporation. It was operated by the United States Air Force, USAF, and NASA. The State Route 71 was developed as a black project from the Lockheed A-12 reconnaissance aircraft during the 1960s by Lockheed's Skunk Works Division. American aerospace engineer Clarence, Kelly, Johnson was responsible for many of the aircraft's innovative concepts. The shape of the State Route 71 was based on that of the A-12, which was one of the first aircraft to be designed with a reduced radar cross-section. Initially, a bomber variant of the A-12 was requested by Curtis LeMay, before the program was focused solely on reconnaissance. Mission equipment for the reconnaissance role included signals intelligence sensors, side-looking airborne radar, and a camera. The State Route 71 was both longer and heavier than the A-12, allowing it to hold more fuel as well as a two-seat cockpit. The State Route 71 entered service in January 1966. During aerial reconnaissance missions, the State Route 71 operated at high speeds and altitudes, Mach 3.2 and 85,000 feet, 25,900 meters, allowing it to outrace or entirely avoid threats. If a surface-to-air missile launch was detected, the standard evasive action was simply to accelerate and outpace the missile. On average, each State Route 71 could fly once per week due to the extended turnaround required after mission recovery. A total of 32 aircraft were built, 12 were lost in accidents with one lost to enemy action. During 1989, the USAF retired the State Route 71 largely for political reasons. Several were briefly reactivated during the 1990s before their second retirement in 1998. NASA was the final operator of the Blackbird, who used it as a research platform, and was retired in 1999. Since its retirement, the SR-71's role has been taken up by a combination of reconnaissance satellites and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, a proposed UAV successor, the State Route 72, is under development by Lockheed Martin, and scheduled to fly in 2025. The State Route 71 has several nicknames, including, Blackbird, and, Habu. As of 2022 the State Route 71 holds the world record it set in 1976 as the fastest air-breathing manned aircraft previously held by the related Lockheed YF-12. Lockheed's previous reconnaissance aircraft was the relatively slow U-2, designed for the Central Intelligence Agency CIA. In late 1957, the CIA approached the defense contractor Lockheed to build an undetectable spy plane. The project, named Archangel, was led by Kelly Johnson, head of Lockheed's Skunk Works Unit in Burbank, California. The work on Project Archangel began in the second quarter of 1958, with aim of flying higher and faster than the U-2. Of 11 successive designs drafted in a span of 10 months, A-10 was the front runner. Despite this, however, its shape made it vulnerable to radar detection. After a meeting with the CIA in March 1959, the design was modified to have a 90% reduction in radar cross-section. The CIA approved a US$96 million United States dollars contract for Skunk Works to build a dozen spy planes, named A-12, on the 11th of February 1960. The 1960 downing of Francis Gary Powers's U-2 underscored its vulnerability and the need for faster reconnaissance aircraft such as the A-12. The A-12 first flew at Groom Lake, Area 51, Nevada, on the 25th of April 1962. Thirteen were built. Two variants were also developed including three of the YF-12 interceptor prototype, and two of the M-21 drone carrier. The aircraft was meant to be powered by the Pratt & Whitney J-58 engine, but development ran over schedule, and it was equipped instead with the less powerful Pratt & Whitney J-75 initially. The J-58s were retrofitted as they became available, and became the standard engine for all subsequent aircraft in the series, A-12, YF-12, M-21, as well as the State Route 71. The A-12 flew missions over Vietnam and North Korea before its retirement in 1968. The program's cancellation was announced on 28 December 1966, due both to budget concerns and because of the forthcoming State Route 71, a derivative of the A-12. The State Route 71 was powered by two Pratt & Whitney J-58, company designation JT-11D-20, axial flow turbojet engines. The J-58 was a considerable innovation of the era, 
capable of producing a static thrust of 32,500 lbf, 145 kilonewtons. The engine was most efficient around Mach 3.2, the Blackbird's typical cruising speed. At takeoff, the afterburner provided 26% of the thrust. This proportion increased progressively with speed until the afterburner provided all the thrust at about Mach. Air was initially compressed and heated by the inlet spike and subsequent converging duct between the center body and inlet cowl. The shock waves generated slowed the air to subsonic speeds relative to the engine. The air then entered the engine compressor. Some of this compressor flow, 20% at cruise, was removed after the fourth compressor stage and went straight to the afterburner through six bypass tubes. Air passing through the turbojet was compressed further by the remaining five compressor stages and then fuel was added in the combustion chamber. After passing through the turbine, the exhaust, together with the compressor bleed air, entered the afterburner. At around Mach 3, the temperature rise from the intake compression, added to the engine compressor temperature rise, reduced the allowable fuel flow because the turbine temperature limit did not change. The rotating machinery produced less power, but still enough to run at 100% RPM, thus keeping the airflow through the intake constant. The rotating machinery had become a drag item and the engine thrust at high speeds came from the afterburner temperature rise. Maximum flight speed was limited by the temperature of the air entering the engine compressor, which was not certified for temperatures above 800 degrees Fahrenheit, 430 degrees Celsius.